I'm Tim Daling. Today we're going to be doing an advanced kundalini set. So as always, you can modify uh, the two minutes down to a minute, 30 seconds, whatever uh, fits to your level. So I'm going to be working with two minutes in most of these postures today. And we're going to start sitting down in easy pose. And we're going to start with a little pranayama or yoga breath work. So what I'll be starting with, will be closing the right nostril and breathing in and out of the left nostril for two minutes. So make sure you're comfortable. I'm using a yoga block, a meditation cushion to make sure that my legs are comfortable, my feet are comfortable. Um, you could use a yoga mat as well. Meditation cushion, yoga mats, blocks are, are going to be very helpful for what we'll be doing in this advanced set today. So timer is set for two minutes. Close the right nostril completely. Eyes can stay open or closed. And all your breath is in and out through the left nostril. Throughout the day, our breathing will switch between left side, left nostril dominant, and right nostril dominant. Whatever side is dominant will affect the opposite hemisphere of the brain. So if you're breathing through the right nostril, it's going to affect the left hemisphere of the brain. If you're breathing in through the left nostril, it's going to affect the right hemisphere of the brain. So there's a specific reason for these breathing exercises. So right completely closed, all the breath, inhales and exhales through the left only. You'll release on the exhale. So for balance, we'll now switch, closing the left, breathing in and out through the right only. So two minutes again, seal off the left nostril completely. Rest the right hand on the right knee, only breathing in and out through the right side.
finish on your exhale. And then both hands back to the knees. Take a deep breath in, both nostrils. Deep breath out through both nostrils. So what comes up next, the arms are gonna be out like a Y. Fingertips come into the palms of the hands, the thumbs extend out like antennas. And breath of fire. Breath of fire is that inhale through the nose, that audible exhale through the nose. So this will be two minutes as well. Another thing that the breathing exercises do in Kundalini Yoga is oxygenating the blood. So we're gonna have more oxygen in our blood. You're gonna get a little more energy from this. You're gonna feel the energy to do the Kundalini Yoga as well as other things that you enjoy doing. Definitely makes a difference. So arms are up, fingertips into the palms, thumbs are like antennas extending up, inhale through the nose, forceful exhale through the nose that should be audible. Again, making sure you finish on your exhale. So if you hear that timer, keep going till you've completed the exhale. So now we're gonna move into frog pose. Frog pose can be a little more physically demanding, especially on the knees. So I'm gonna demonstrate frog from two positions. It's a squat, just like a frog. I'm down on my feet, my hands, my head is up. Big mistake I see here is people looking down. Make sure your head is up. So as you lift the hips and inhale, the head drops. As you come down on the exhale, the head lifts. So this one is not done for time. This is done for repetitions. So frog should be done, if you're beginning, 10 times. If you a little more experienced, 26 times. So with me, inhale up. Exhale down, that's one. And 26. 
So making our way up from there, pausing if you need. So just to give you a little side angle on frog, like this, inhale, exhale. If you find it hurts the knees, that's why it's good to have a yoga block. You can bring the floor up to you a little bit by using the yoga block. You don't have to go as deep. So those are some recommendations with frog. So now, the next part of this Kriya or set is 26 times as well. Feet are hip to shoulder width apart. I come up on the inhale, palms to the ceiling, looking up. As I fold on the exhale, I'm actively pulling the navel in and up to the spine. We want that abdominal contraction and the glutes to contract as well. So feet, hip shoulder width apart, 26 repetitions, inhaling up, exhale, fold and contract. Twenty-six. So from there, we're going to be moving down to the ground, and for this next exercise, or series of exercises, we're going to be holding these for 30 seconds, and you'll see why. This is a lot of core work. So the first 30 seconds, I'm going to be laying down on my back. Hands can support the small of the back. Legs are gonna be up about six inches from the floor, and this will be held for 30, and we'll do some progressions from there. So on your back, legs up about six inches. Long, slow, deep breathing in and out through the nose. to a foot off the floor. Hands again in position, a little bit higher this time. Long, slow, deep breathing.
draw the knees in again. Max 30 seconds is gonna be a little bit higher and then the final set will be for a minute with the legs straight up. So progressively getting a little more challenging. Support the low back if you need. Legs out now, a little higher, head down. Legs up, all the way to 90 degrees, and this time, holding for a minute, placing the palms in line with the hips. Leading on the exhale, drawing the knees in, a little release, come to the right side, and out. <clears throat> so the next series, we're going to do a minute as well. It's a little more challenging. I'm going to be using the cushion this time for my chin or my forehead. So what I'm going to do is lie on my back. I'm gonna grab the right foot, chin or forehead down. Long, slow, deep breathing for one minute, then we'll switch sides and then we'll go to both legs. So yoga mat, meditation cushion. I'm gonna go with my chin down, right leg binding, and then focusing on your breath. the right leg down. Now what we're doing here is prepping us for what's coming up. So now I am going to switch to the left leg. Binding, right hand down. Find a comfortable position for the head. And then focus on your breath.
again, release on your exhale. So I'm not gonna use a cushion for this final minute. What we just did has prepped us. And for back bends, we stretched and loosened up the quadriceps, which is gonna make this back bend a little easier and a little more comfortable. So I'm gonna be binding to both ankles or shins as I hold this last position. So from here, I would recommend um, doing this on a yoga mat, um, having carpet, something on your stomach. I've been doing this a while, so I've gotten used to this. So coming into your position, binding to both, and now getting that lift. Focus on the breath, find a focal point. Releasing on the exhale. So what the body needs now is movement, a counter pose, moving in the opposite direction. So we're gonna do that with this life nerve stretch. So the legs are extended, I inhale up, exhale forward, inhale up, exhale forward. We're gonna do this for two minutes. Legs are straight, shoulders over the hips, body is in that L position, inhaling up, exhale forward. Don't try to go all the way down, first one, let it be gradual. Even though time is sounded, make sure that you finish on those exhales. So the next one is gonna be a little more demanding. So this is gonna be cut down to one minute. So I'm coming into a reclined pose. So my feet are gonna be wider than my knees. I'm going to recline back, bringing the elbows onto the floor, and I'm going to hold that position for one minute, 
Take your time coming in and out of this position. Use yoga blocks if you need. Use blankets. position very mindfully and that is good as practice for our next pose known as camel pose so here I'm going to put the feet down on the ground it can be tops of the feet soles of the feet so you can go top I prefer balls of the feet coming back the hands are on the heels hips come forward head is back using the legs to come up and out of it in kundalini some of these poses are quite uncomfortable to be honest but the idea is to focus on your breath and by focusing on the breath we can keep the mind under control so don't get um, concerned with you know pain you don't want pain you don't want to injure yourself but you're trying to train yourself to push through things that mental toughness but it is important not to physically hurt yourself. So this will be one minute in this camel pose. Coming back, hips forward, opening the chest, head back. Slow, deep breathing. cushion for my feet and this is going to be breath of fire before we come on to our backs so again males will have the right foot in front of the left females will have the left in front of the right so this is going to be two minutes and much like what we did at the beginning here, my fingers are interlaced. For males, the right thumb is on top. For females, the left thumb is on top. And it's that breath of fire. Two minutes. Try not to go too fast. If you go too fast, you're gonna hyperventilate and get a little lightheaded. Try to keep it slow and steady for that whole two minutes. So the inhales, exhales are of equal duration.
exhale, you're going to come onto your back, but just for one minute. So lying on the back, maybe a pillow under the head, separate the feet, the palms. Relax in one minute. Finish on your exhale. Come to the right side. Take a breath in, a breath out. And then we're going to make our way back to seated one more time. So I'll grab my yoga block, my meditation cushion. Coming back to easy pose. Now, before we go on to our backs again, that final relaxation, much like the breath work we did earlier, I'm going to breathe in through the left, close the left with the pinky, exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right, close the right, exhale into the left. So this is alternate nostril breathing to balance left and right hemisphere of the brain. This is a form of meditation because you're focused on inhale, exhale, and alternating the nostrils. You have to keep the mind focused on what we're doing. So seal off the right nostril, inhale left, close the left, exhale right. Inhale right, close the right, exhale left, continue on. finish here on the exhale through the left side. Now it's very important here that you always end with a meditation be it seated or lying down. I'm going to do seated. So this last minute hands rest on the knees, close the eyes. Just let your mind follow your breath. find practice 
holding these longer durations will get easier, the postures will get easier. So just like anything else, with practice, you'll see the improvement, time well spent. Again, I'm Tim Daling, and this was Advanced Kundalini Yoga. Thanks for watching.